In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to check if a file exists with Node.js. So if you're writing some backend Node.js code and you want to check if a file exists before you start working with it, there are a few different approaches you can take depending on your situation. The main difference is if you want to do this synchronously or asynchronously. But with either way, we can call some functions that are built into the file system object in Node.js and we can import that by using a simple require statement. And if your node environment is set up for it, you can also do an import statement here. So another bit of information that's going to be common to all scenarios is the actual file that we want to check. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to be checking for the existence of the file.txt file. So let's get a reference to the path of that file. So the first function we can call on the file system object is the exists sync function, which as the name suggests is a synchronous function which accepts an argument of the path and returns true or false depending on whether the file at that path exists. So if we run our code now, you'll see we get the output in the terminal that the file exists. And because this is a synchronous call in Node, it will actually pause the execution of the code while it goes ahead and checks for that file. So everything below the if statement will run after that function has completed. So this is probably the most common way of checking if a file exists in Node, but you might have a need to do this asynchronously, especially if you were checking lots of files and you don't want to block the main thread and want the rest of the code to continue. So what we can use is an exists function, which is asynchronous. So as you can see with this approach, the code looks a lot different. We don't actually get returned a value from the exists function, but a callback is provided so you can check whether the file exists and take some actions depending on whether it is or isn't. But the main difference with this, if we run the code again, is you can see that that console log at the bottom of our code actually runs before the exists function completes. So a third scenario where you might want to check if a file exists is when you're inside a promise chain. And we can make the asynchronous version of exists return a promise by using the promiseify utility function. And again, this is asynchronous because the promise will finish after the console log on line 18 has been displayed. But this is a really useful technique if you've got a long promise chain and somewhere in that chain you want to check whether a file exists or not. So there is also a similar function called access and access sync, which is actually designed to check the access levels of a particular file, but you can for the most part replace the exists and exists syncs functions with the equivalent access functions. If you're interested in learning more about the access functions, take a look at the blog post in the description below.